नमस्ते दिस इज थ्रुवीन एंड इन दिस एपिसोड आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ओपन ए आई एंड पावर प्लेटफॉर्म इंटीग्रेशन वी आर गोइंग टू यूज ओपन ए आईज डेल ए थ्री इमेज जनरेशन मॉडल फ्रॉम द टेक्सट एंड कन्फ्यूगर दैट इन पावर एप्स इन अ वे दैट वेन एवर यू टाइप एनी क्वेश्चन इन अ नेचुरल लैंग्वेज लाइक लोगो विथ लैन सन रिवर एंड बर्ड एंड लिक ऑन जनरेट इमेज इट विल गिव यू दिस काइंड ऑफ रिजल्ट इन द पावर एप्स गैलरी so how you can configure this open ai integration with power apps let's go through all the steps in detail with me over here i will be talking about each step in the detail like what kind of licensing you need for open ai and what kind of licensing you need for the power apps and we are going to build the custom connector in order to configure all of those things inside the power apps so without further delay let's get started but before that if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far please do follow me because these are the platform where i'm uploading short content on power platform and don't forget to subscribe my channel first of all open the open ai site using openai.com and try to click on login with your account so i'm just clicking on the login button and it will open this type of option for you either use a chat gpt or using the api here we are going to consume the api of open ai so i am simply clicking on the api over here this will directly redirecting you to platform.openai.com and the same link i have provided in the description box as well now over here there are different option to build the application now let's click on image generation over here so basically this will redirecting you this kind of documentation where it will provide you the detail information about the open ima, uh, open ai image generation model and it is saying that it is using dell e model over here now this is the official document here they also provided dell e preview app when you click on that you can add the different kind of input in order to convert that to the images and you can try the different things over here so you can try it by your own also it is providing you the detail documentation over here let's say for an example right now the images that are generated using delhi preview model it is supporting the size of 256 cross 256 or 512 cross 512 or 1024 cross 1024 pixel also you can request 1 to 10 image at a single time with the parameter okay so this is the simple documentation that they have provided now let me click on the image generation end point over here so when you click on that you can see that these are the different end points that they have provided and don't worry i have provided the full link in the description box as well so here you can see that this is the post call this is the end point okay and what are the headers which we need to pass here we need to pass the authorization header we also need to pass the different input parameter like in body we need to pass prompt prompt means what type of text input you are providing to api and means number of images how many number of images you wanted to generate and size means what size of image you want to create okay so these are the three different parameters you need to pass but before that we need to generate the authorization key over here okay so let's do with the first step so first of all this is the open ai portal here we simply need to go to the on the top right you can see your open ai details over here you simply need to click on view api keys when you click on that you will be redirected to the api key section now here first you need to generate a new secret key for yourself so let's click on that and provide the secret key name over here so i am just providing the name as practice key so i am just providing the name as practice key youtube and simply click on secret create secret key this will generate the unique secret key for yourself copy this secret key because that is something you need to use in your future api reference click on done and now i'm just pasting that key in one of my notepad file now one more important thing you need to consider here you need to click on the use it section from here so over here you can see that i have purchase 10 dollar credit and which is going to expire on 1st of november 2024 
over here it also show you rate limits over here so here you can see that there are different model information and over here there are two information token per minute and request per minute over here and over here if we look at the dell e model it is having 50 token per minute and request per minute is infinite okay so you can see this information over here also if you wanted to purchase some credit for yourself you simply need to go to the billing option and over here there is an option payment method where you can add your preferred method over here and uh, add appropriate credit for yourself also you can go to the pricing section click on learn more and here you can check the pricing of the different models over here like you can see here the image model so what is the price for each resolution let's say if you are generating 1024 cross 1024 what will be the amount that you are paying per image uh, it is showing you that output as well over here all right and this is a prepaid kind of thing where you need to add some credit balance into your billing and uh, depending on the usage it will deduct automatically from there you can also enable auto recharge from here we are not going to uh, deep dive too much into it but yeah that is the overall idea for this dell a3 implementation definitely you need some credit in order to implement that okay so that is the overview of openai now let's go to the api reference over here and try to create our own custom connector using this openai model now let's create a custom connector here I have opened make.powerapps.com and to get started click on the more option and over here simply click on discover all. When you click on that you can see the option custom connector. Click on that and once you click on that pin that so it will be available into your left navigation. Now let's create our custom connector from scratch. For that click on create from blank and let's provide the connector name over here so i'm just providing here open ai image generation image generation v1 and simply click on continue so the first step of custom connector is we need to provide the host name over here there are two options select https and in the host from the documentation copy the host name so here the host is api.openai.com so let's copy this part and add that over here so i'm just providing the host name as api.openai.com let's go to the security section and now here we have different authentication technique let's select api key as an authentication now here you can provide any name into your parameter label so I am just providing the label name as API key. Here in the parameter, let's provide the parameter as authorization and parameter location is header. All good. And then click on the definition tab. Now here we need to add our new action. Let's click on the new action. And here let's provide the name of the action. I am just providing the name of the action as generate image. And in operation ID as well, I'm just providing the exact same name, generate image. Description, you can provide any description, generate image from text. All right, all good. Now, here we need to pass the request parameter. So click on import from sample. Over here, let's check the documentation now. So we can see that this is my post method okay so i will be selecting post from here so let's select post then we need to provide the url of the api call so if we go to the documentation again this is my endpoint url so let's copy this endpoint from here and paste it over here under the url section under header we have authorization section but here we don't need to pass that because in authentication step we already defined that now underneath body let's copy and paste this entire stuff because in body we need to pass three different parameter one is prompt what kind of prompt you have 
n means number of images how many images you want to generate and size let's copy and paste the exact same thing and simply click on import button from here okay so let's provide it and here it is all right all good now simply click on the next step click on taste but before that let's create a connector all right so our connector has been created successfully now we need to taste this connection so for that click on new connection over here and it will ask you for the api key so api key is something which we have generated during the second step and we already keep it at the safe place right so now let's paste our api key but before that based on the documentation available over here we need to use a word barrier okay so let's add barrier and after that our api key that we have saved so let me keep this i open and let me type this word barrier and paste your api key so i just pasted my key and simply click on create button over here so this will create a connection all good now let's go to the custom connector again and let's reopen our custom connector so this is the one which we are creating now let's go again to the taste section and over here you can see that this open ai connector now simply let's provide the three parameter value prompt n and size so over here i have the documentation open so i'm just keeping up this particular section from here let's copy this and what i'm doing here is for testing purpose i'm turning on this raw body and let's paste this stuff over here so i provided all these parameters over here let's say i want to generate four different images here so i will just write four over here and simply click on test operation you can also change the size as well or you can change your prompt as well okay let's click on test operation and let's see what happens and here we are you can see that it tick mark with the green and i got a status 200 okay perfect and this is my result set it is showing created date time and it is showing four different url as a part of the result right let's copy this entire result from the body and paste it in one of the notepad because this is something which we need to use as the output parameter in the definition tab so let's copy this entire stuff now go to the definition step over here and under request you can see that there is a section called the response so over here let's click on that and import the response over here so in body let's paste that entire response and click on import and let's see what we are getting here so you can see that i am getting two stuff created and url over here all right so all good and again click on update the connector now let's close this and use this custom connector in power apps so over here i have just taken one blank canvas page and take one text input one button control and one image gallery control so now let's connect our custom connector first click on the data source and click on add data and search for the custom connector you just created my custom connector name was open ai image generation v1 let's connect this now when we click on the button let's add let's store the value in the collection first let's call our custom connector function so i am just typing the name of my custom connector open ai image generation 1 open ai image gen v1 dot i need to use which action we have added that generate image v1 okay and inside that we need to provide the different parameters so over here let's start with the curly brackets the first parameter is how many images we need so let's say i want to generate four images so i will type four then comma uh what type of prompt you want to provide so let's add prompt parameter so here i want to use whatever user will type into this one i want to use this as a prompt so let's provide prompt as this text box dot text all right and then which size you want to generate the image 
so let's provide size and in size i will simply use 1024 cross 1024 all right let's complete the bracket finish the stuff and after this bracket we need to use dot operator and we need data from that because when we tested our custom connector and saved the response that json structure was looking like this you can see that we got the created and underneath that there is a data and from data we have the url okay so we need a data value from the flow result okay so we just use dot data and let's store this entire result into one of the collection so i'm just using clear collect and i will just call result comma and let's finish the bracket to do the stuff all right the formula is ready and it is looking like this open ai image generation v1 which is exact same name dot generate image v1 we provided three parameter and we are taking the data value from there okay so once this result will get here we will just display that into the gallery so let's select our gallery and provide the data source as call result okay perfect and then we have image control inside that okay so let's provide the image control value over here so we have this image control and let's provide this item dot url because from there we have the url value okay so we just provided that now let's try here so let's say i'm just typing a prompt here like logo with river bird and sun and let's see what we are getting as an image so let's click on generate image and let's test this out so it will take some time in order to execute because we have provided four image alternative options so it will give us the result and load the stuff and here we are you can see that it has generated these four different logo for yourself let me just add one more prompt here like toys with red cartoon and you can see that it has generated this kind of images for me so this is how you can easily integrate open ai with power apps hope this video helps you and values your time if so please hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel because it's free for you but it motivates me a lot and i am going to create such a good ai content in the future as well so stay tuned with me Looking for any training or consultation, the website link is available on the channel cover homepage. And don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. All the links are available under the about section of the channel homepage. With this, this is Dhruveen signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.